Hello, hello, and welcome back to Venus Media. You join me in my garage where the lighting is really bad, and uh, yeah, I'm just here with my Volvo C30. So, I've not done much since you last saw it, but I have done a few small things. Things like I've done the brake calipers, I've painted those in uh, the best I could find, or the most resembling color to rebel blue that I could find uh, so they, those are nice. I also have got myself a set of Antec brakes on the car so these are the C-hook C option with the, the gold coating if you can see there stops it from rusting as easily and stuff so yeah, uh, also I do have the roof box as you can see there, I just bought that uh, I've had the roof rails for some time but just got the roof box and bought it like second hand for around 150 euros so this is the uh, flame orange uh, metallic flame orange option which you can get for this car so like the color is just amazing it's so one of my favorite parts about it this is also the 1.6 diesel version which is the first of the 1.6 diesels so it's the 16 valve and may or may not be remapped, so it's pushing around 139 horsepower, maybe. Uh, I don't know. A remap would be illegal, of course, so not like I've done that in any way. Anyway, uh, yeah, not a lot, not very many th new things about this one. But I do have something else that might be of interest to all of you. So we're going to head up there and we're going to take a look at it. Okay. So yeah, I may or may not have bought another C30, because buying C30s is what I do, obviously. Uh, so this is my second C30. Uh, reason, base, basic reason I bought it uh, is because of the engine. It's a D4, which is the 2 liter 5 cylinder Volvo diesel engine. Uh, this one has around 177 horsepower stock and 400 newton meters of torque. So, not bad numbers, at least for a car this size. And also, as you can see, uh, it is an R design version. So it's got all of the body kit stuff, all the fender flares and the bum rear bumper with the tailpipes and everything. And the uh, spoiler, of course, which is very nice. Uh, furthermore, all another, another reason I bought this car is because, as I said, it's a D4, and the D4 is in Norway, which is where I live, obviously. There are two, two, two of these cars with a D4 engine. Two, two of them in all, just all the country. It's there are two D4s in Norway. So when I saw this thing up for sale with that engine, I just, I mean, what do you do? You just you have to buy it. It's it's a C30 with a D4 engine. So yeah, that's basically the current situation. I have bought another car and it's a C30 because why would you need anything other than a C30? And of course, this being uh, the five-cylinder engine, of course, it does engine is just it's just such a nice engine it's really reliable and everything it's uh, act an actual Volvo engine instead of the Peugeot engine in my other C30 uh, so just the sound of it and everything is just amazing compared to like your, reg your regular diesel of, of course it's not gonna be it's not gonna be like our 850 or something with the petrol 5 cylinder but when it comes to diesels 
this is just the engine, in my opinion at least. Uh, of course, since this is a C30, and my other car is a C30, that means that I can hopefully just transfer all of my modifications that I've done to that other C30 and put them on here. So I'm going to wash the cars and and then I'm going to basically just transfer over most of the things I've done. So things like the wheels. These are actually really nice wheels, or, uh, original Volvo 18 inch wheels, Medusa wheels. But I still prefer my Japan Racing SLO one wheels, which was uh, the reason I chose those. It's basically because of the fact that the Volvo C30 Polestar concept prototype uh, had similar similar style wheels, which is the reason I've got them, and also the fitment is really good. Uh, furthermore, this car is also, yes, you may be able to tell it is lowered on uh, IBAC springs, so it's about a 30 35 millimeter lower on the car so it's like it's just planted on the road and with the good the really good tires that i have on that other the other wheels i think this car will handle just amazingly uh, so yeah that's basically my plan also i'm going to transfer over the front headlights hopefully and like a splitter in the front and stuff and if you see here here the tailpipes don't this one the right one sticks out further than the left one because I think uh, since the car is lowered I think it may have like grounded out somewhere and just knocked the uh, exhaust pipes out of or uh, out of their position and I'm just basically going to try and bend, bend them back so that they don't look crooked because I want it to be symmetrical and all of that. So yeah, that's basically it. Let's just start, I guess. Just uh, get the car cars cleaned, switch over the wheels and stuff. Also, I'm hopefully going to... I want to do the calipers on this car too in Pulsar Blue. So yeah, a lot of stuff to do. So it just occur occurred to me that, uh, of course, for once we do actually have the beautiful sun up here in Norway. So, uh, of course, you don't want to wash your car really in the sun. So I'm just going to move it to somewhere where we have a bit of sh uh, shadow, shadow, just so that we don't get any chemicals uh, drying on the new paint, which would be properly annoying. So, yeah. came home so the engine's still warm so don't kill me in the comments for doing the red thing. Now we have just snow from the car. I put some uh, wheel cleaner thing on the wheels. I use uh, Autofinesse Imperial for the wheels uh, because, by the looks of it, I think these wheels are ceramic coated, so I don't want to like use anything too harsh to remove that coating, of course. So Autofinesse 
uh, Imperial for the wheels. I also do use the Auto Finesse uh, Citrus Power for uh, like uh, organic decontaminant thing. Uh, and uh, now I'm going to go on with some Iron Axe, which is going to remove some of the iron particles which I have spotted in the paintwork here, hopefully. And uh, then we're going to go on to just a uh, normal bucket wash. So I'm using this here, which is the Chemical Guys Citrus Washing Gloss. So I like citrus stuff because it smells good and it seems to work pretty well on the cars. So now I'm going to put some of this on and so we'll see if that works at getting rid of all those particles. See now that the iron uh, particle removal is starting to this work. You can see the purple streaks forming. That's basically just iron particles uh, being dissolved by the solution. So we'll let this sit for two, two, three minutes and then we'll go on and just pressure wash it off. And then we will have a car with less particle stuff, iron particles. Zero 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 one percent chance of doing that thing that I just said. So I guess we'll see. Isn't that just great? Okay, so we got the car started finally. Uh, something to do with fuel, just not keeping a vacuum in the fuel lines and running back down to the tank uh, when the car has been sitting for a while. And then this happens, which is not very good, but it's out now. Of course, uh, battery is going to be drained after something like this, so I'm thinking I will just take a small trip in the car now to just get the engine warm and stuff and get the battery charged up and yeah so we don't get any water spots because that's not any fun and uh, put it in the garage 
off with the wheels and uh, yeah, switch out the wheels from the cars. First I have to wash the wheels which I'm going to have on here temporarily because of course I can't just switch the wheels without first putting some other wheels on this car. Time to change some wheels then, I guess. Wouldn't have thought I've done this a million times before, but... One, two, three. Even on a weekday, still go hard. Money don't stop once it starts. Someone tell the DJ, play my song. Shut me out all night long. Cause it's feeling like my B-Day. The reason usually on the phone all day or somewhere in the meeting, so we celebrate simply because we still alive and breathing. No way, can't believe it's Monday, but the spot is so lit. I'm caught up in my young ways. If I'm home over at work, I gotta wear my son's shades. It's whatever, let's just have a fun day. Hey, even on a weekday, still go hard. Money don't stop with the stars. Someone tell the DJ, play my song. Shut me out all night long, cause it's feeling like my baby. Happy hours every 60 minutes, not remembering what day it is, but hope it never finished. Loosen up that tie, pop a button and forget your image. Shorty, take your hair out that bun, shake it out and get it. Yeah, yeah. Cause life is short, ain't got no time to waste. Gotta live a little before you reach your expiration date. Oh, no. Don't touch the ball, it's over. Call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be. You came to fail the test, you met the best, expected chess, but got monopoly. I came and bought you out, I knocked you out, I cropped you out with no apologies. I am the hope, the heart, the faith, the spark, the one who will fulfill the prophecy. I just been counting, never lounging, climbing up mountains, bouncing back. Step in the ring, about to step back. Damn long hot when I get on the track. I like it louder than most. Watching all these shoes just by down to the go. If I can't decide, I'ma probably get both. We don't celebrate, but right now I'm a toast. Resurrected ghost. Outside, outside. Looking at the stars, staring with my mouth wide. I ain't letting nobody stop me this time. With every single level that I reach and I climb, they ask, Are you from outside? Outside. Okay, so we finally got wheels on, on one of the sides at least. And look at this. If this is not what they call perfect fitment and I don't know what it is because that is flush and not to mention just these wheels just fit the C30 so good this looks awesome the lowered uh, eye back springs and everything oh yeah this looks good of course we are going to we're gonna need to have the brake calipers painted in polestar blue of course but for now this is pretty good How cool is that? These wheels just look amazing on all C30s. I mean, this is literally the best 
wheel style for these cars just looks good every single time and fitment on these with the minus 40 offset i think it is i'm pretty, pretty sure it is uh, fitment is i mean the front could literally not be any more offset because it's right at the limit uh, rears are tucking in just a bit but not bad not bad so uh, now we're gonna tackle the exhaust pipe thing problem see this one is in there this one sticks out there so let's see if we can fix that since when have zip ties not worked i mean Not good, but it's better. Reaching out the climb, but they ask, Are you from outside? Outside, everything around me I create with my mind. Working too hard, I don't want no downtime. Put my team on, they don't shine when I shine. We can take this outside. How sick is that? This is just awesome. Reminds me a lot actually of the first time I put those headlights on here after I modified them. That is amazing. Look at those headlights. And just with the theme, with the white and black, just the black headlights, insides and everything. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Okay, that's, that's gonna be it for, that's gonna be it for today. I think I'm gonna put these headlights back on here and in time I'm gonna have, I'm gonna I put the splitter from the front of the orange one over here and yeah I'm, I'm really happy really happy with these lights they just do so much for the just the overall look oh yeah anyways see you in the next one